Oh, it's me, as always, always. Uh, back at it again with more Liza P. This is episode 21. Can you believe it? 21 parts already of our Liza P playthrough. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, what's this? Soft light. Um, last time we just made it over here to the, um, Isle of Alchemists in the submarine of all things, and, um, we made a bit of progress. We beat the Door Guardian. We didn't get too much further in, but we did get some lore drops from Sophia, who said that she was the daughter of the leader of the alchemists, and her physical form is still in here, and her she had a fake form back in the hotel. So we're gonna try and find her, and she wants us to kill her, I think. So there we go. Um, we accidentally spared Alido, who we found again, after defeating the other stalkers. Um, it says the fox and the cat have kidnapped Geppetto. So we want to uh, save Geppetto from them, but do we really? Because we went to Venini and decoded a message uh, from the King of Puppets. And with our puppet ears, we were able to hear something that Venini wasn't. And it was that the law zero of all puppets and the Grand Covenant is that you must listen to your creator. The creator's name is Geppetto. So is he the cause of the puppet frenzy? To what end? Well, I guess we'll find out. Is he conspiring with Simon? Or was he blackmailed too? Um... And also, we're suspecting that um, my character themselves is Carlo, uh, because Romeo, the King of Puppets message, seems to imply that he sent messages to us where we defeated them all. Um, and we also came across memories as we were crossing the desert area before this um, main place, the Arch Abbey, um, which seemed to imply that perhaps we're not who we seem. Or maybe at least we're a puppet that spaced off a boy who has a relationship with the, a, a boy named Romeo, who perhaps the King of Puppets is based off of as well. All very fascinating stuff. I'm excited to finish this game, I think. If I keep the momentum going today, I should be able to get it done. But it depends on how hard <laughs> this next segment is. Oh, great, two of them. Uh, well, we can fight them one-on-one, -on -one, I think, if I just about do this. There we go. I'm not going to buff up for this, actually. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. Whoa. Long direction. There we go. Almost flawless. Ah. Watch out. Okay. Ah. Jump attack. And then swipe back? No. There it is. Attack. Ah. That's an attack. Okay. Piece of meat. Take this. Bionicle looking ass. Ah. <laughs> Animation was a little awkward. <laughs> He's just sliding along the ground. Ah. Lady of me. Oh, I get staggered all day. Get staggered. Get staggered. Head stuck in the ground, is it? Die! Oh! Oh! Uh, something died. Something died right there. God damn it, though. Are you kidding? Five minutes in? Not even five minutes into the episode and I died? Oh. That's how gates is right here, at least. Our jabby entrance. I how many bosses there will be in this area. My creativity on the thumbnails and titles has gone way down. I just pick any element that appeared in the episode, slap the little Donatello picture on it, and then name the episode something this just uh, a fact, a statement. <laughs> uh, 
they're all off the top of my head. I believe I leave, I've left an episode uploading while this is recording too. My production line. Right. Well, you want to want to kill the dogs because they will come and attack me. Got that. You. Oof. Hmm. Veterans have lit. We'll leave that in a bit. Okay. okay. I appear to have broken his right side or something. He's not bouncing off it anymore. Damn, sometimes they make it seem so simple, huh? It's like, how did I ever die to that thing? <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Veterans Amulet. Veterans Amulet. Up here. Um, increases Max Legion. Uh, the last step at the crossroads of life and death. Among those who understood this desperation, there was one who decided to manufacture it. Huh. Geppetto? You can I open this from here. Door does not open from this side. I wonder if you counted how many doors there are like that across Souls games. There will be more than you think. Either the doors are locked or they can't open from this side, you know? Alright, another Stargate's out already. No, these are not to this. It's definitely like what's up with the hieroglyphics on the walls. It basically, it's like a temple more than like a modern building of science. Ah, nice try. Thermite. Termite. Dark moon, moon zone of the covenant. Well, the, all these upgrade materials aren't really going to contribute to my damage anymore since this weapon is max level. Okay, that's locked. Go down. There we go. Nice dodge timing on that. Drop down some more. Oh, that's a dead body. Uh, well, that doesn't look pleasant. Can I throw something at this? Fillables. Yeah. Don't do it. I dodged! My ergo! No! Oh. What the- what? What is that? Uh, this is looking good. Um, hello? Ah, decay. Ah. Stop pointing your thing this way. There we go. Right. That was a little concerning, but we fought through it. The key is to stay calm and assess the dangers and spawn accordingly, like dodging on time, which I am known to do and never known to not do. Carcass body fluid bottle. Cool, cool. 
Nothing about carcasses in these parts. Any puppets on here? I doubt it. Besides myself. Oh, books. Bundle of old letters. Bundle of old letters. A bunch of letters covered in dust. Dear Valentinus Monad, as a result of the last summit, we venerable families have decided to sponsor the Zelator Laboratory construction plan actively. There are still those who oppose, but it won't be too hard to persuade them. The only possible variable is that they won't give any information about the lab. Being careful is a good thing, but we're the ones who provide the funding, so we don't want any uncertainties. We should never just watch. Old families hate being looked down the most. You alchemists know and handle so many things. I had no idea that place known as the Devil's Pit had so much value. But when a gold mine or a secret is revealed, you can't put the cat back in the bag. Don't worry about the construction workers, we'll take care of it real clean. Don't forget, if you look down or try to trick us, it's not only the workers who will disappear. Till next time I see you, I'm looking forward to our beneficial exchange. In the name of the old houses, Rolf. Well, Rolf, um, I think the alchemists had the last laugh. And the construction work as well, puppets, surely. Alright, this is looking more like a library now. Right. Oh. Yeah. Am I getting Fenzy? What's that, Fenzy? Ay, ay, ay. Um. Does this cure it? It does. Okay, cool. Let me pop the resistance timer to two. Just for good measure. Come on, die. Ah. Uh, chill. How's he going to swing? Sister Alchemist Odriad. Although she could not be completed. I wish these messages stayed up longer. <laughs> Although she could not be completed, may she be with us through her noble sacrifice. Of course. Of course, of course. Oh. Ah! No. There we go. Hmm. She could not be completed, huh? She's trying to evolve? I don't think your evolution experiment should be carried out on humans, period, but also... At least until they're stable, man. Where they're, they're animal, animals are carcasses as well. So I guess they tried it on dogs. Uh, I'll shot. Cool. Is there anything I can throw at him? Saw blade? Ah, oh, I did it again! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, shortcut. I should stop training hits like that. I'm kind of reckless with my healing in this game, but only because I know you effectively have infinite if you never get lower to zero HP. Because as long as you land hits, you'll get one pulse cell back. Hmm. Alright, this is where I was. Uh huh. What is the way forward then? To the air? Yes, to the air. More enemies. I don't have a resistance sample anymore. Be careful of that disruption. Oh my goodness. Is it gonna go away? Ah, oh, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. Stop. Shot put. Put shot. Hmm. 
<laughs> These narrow corridors in the big building kind of structure, or like a castle, kind of reminds me of Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1. In the undead, in the undead bug, undead asylum kind of area. Um, and then Demon Souls Boletaria. Kingdom of Boletaria. Nice. Okay. They're just giving us the prevent disruption items a bit. How do we get over there? Is there a visible path? <laughs> no, I doubt it. Probably from up there. A couple of drops. Right. Um. Let's see. First discovery, Camille. First discovery, Camille. Camille. She's probably the first puppet with an ego found by the Order. Before that, Ergo was seen as just a child expense for a holy journey of the Order. It was God's gift, but they didn't know that it was truth itself. However, God gave us fools the revelation for our enlightenment. It was God's miracle that Camille was made into a maid puppet. Despite being in the early phase when the design was rudimentary, Camille caught and saved a baby who fell from a cliff. Such function was nowhere to be found in the design. Her appearance and identity in living years were similar, it was probably easier for her to manifest an ego. After hurriedly collecting Camille to launch an investigation, the order found out that she understands language and got a message, send me back to my child. By interrogating and taking Camille apart, the order had opened the door to a new possibility. Later means of control such as the Grand Covenant emerged, but there was a small problem compared to this discovery. Ergo is not a simple power stone, it embraces life. Through Ergo, we can open the door to eternal life. Wake up. Evolve. Ascend. With this discovery, humankind will achieve immortality. Yeah, I mean... I suppose. Is the idea that you can implant a human soul inside a puppet, awaken the ego, and then just have them live forever? Yes, yeah, provided you maintain them. I hate this enemy type. Why is it just... just point his butt at me. Are you done? <laughs> Nothing on the roof, right? Okay. But like, this is getting kind of cyberpunk in terms of um, like themes in this game. Or, you know, the weakness of my flesh. The moment I knew it, I was disgusted. Blah blah blah. We just got an aesthetic, great curved sword blade. The immortality C technique B advance. Well, it's aesthetic, I assume. An aesthetic great curved sword blade. A curved sword blade made by the alchemists while researching carcass body fluids. It was designed to spray acidic body fluid over the blade at regular intervals. The alchemists took notice of the fact that carcass body fluids had an acidic quality. After extensive research, they devised a weapon that dug into one's body like a viper's fangs and inflicted continuous damage. The handle of a curved sword made by the alchemists Oh yeah, acidic curved sword handle. The handle of a curved sword made by the alchemists while researching carcass body fluids. The bottom of the handle is fin finished with a snake head decoration. The serpent of the oil birds was a symbol that the alchemists held sacred. They made the weapon of their dreams from the carcass body fluid that reminded them of the viper. The alchemists were a bunch of arrows, man. Snakes are no good. Has there ever been a piece of media where there was an organization that was like, hell yeah, we love snakes. And they actually turned out to be the good guys? I don't think so. Think about Slytherin. Think about, thinking, I don't know, anything else? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess we just dropped on. And go around. I think that was worth it. That okay item will be useful if we ever switch weapons, which we won't. But <laughs> if we ever did. <laughs> I feel like this weapon has just been reliable, you know? Um, I'm not feeling like I'm lacking in damage, and it staggers enemies generally, so that's useful. Seven Coiled Spring Sword. Do 
Upgrade materials apply to the blade of most weapons anyway, so it's a bit confusing. If I could like apply a crank to a handle of a weapon that I like the move set of, and then put a blade on it that I like the range of and the scaling of, I think. So I could put the hammerhead on the fire axe, maybe. My brain is working. Hmm, another sniper. Sometimes I wish there was a bow in this game. Whoa! Okay. That's something. Dodge. Dodge. And the jump attack. <laughs> Who enabled the security system though? Unless the alchemists <laughs> have to dodge their own traps whenever they're traversing this place. What's with all these statues? You can't kind of freaked out. High level alchemist badge. That's me, high level alchemist. Aha, a bridge. How much damage that does if it does hit you. Okay. Ah. Excuse me. Oh, come on. Don't go into the wall. Yeah, I'm just gonna know you guys too. Mission one, get there of the archer. Mission two, get rid of everyone else. And hide your fun. Now I pick your toys. Haha. <laughs> Looks like you guys are having a jolly good time. <laughs> I thought I could just stand there and burn them. They managed to get through. This is not optimal. Ah, oh, Jesus, guys. Uh. Okay. Phew. Ah, oh, safe. Um, thermites. Thanks. Lot of FC five zero flame. Done. Uh, he's got swing again. Okay. Cool. I don't want to deal with these guys. Eat this. Cool. Not bad. That was. Well thought. And we get a shortcut for it. Nice. I was thinking. Spin a bit. Stargazer just down there. Yeah. Probably ought to visit it. Seeing as we have a level in our hands as well. Ah. I'm gonna pop this cube again. I don't care. I want those items. I should equip the cat amulet. To make sure I don't die. Uh, remember to put it back or take it back off, I suppose. Cat amulet. Cat, cat, cat. Leaping amulet? No. Uh, what is that? There's a black cat's amulet. There we go. This is damage from falling. I also thought it was pretty cool that in Dark Souls 2 there was an area you can only get to if you did buy the amulet. The reduces fall damage one. Oh! Uh, <laughs> you know the well? In Majula. 
I mean, you could always get a ladder as well, but there was a way to get down there if you had enough health and you used the thing. You wouldn't die. From the fall damage. Have I activated that sword gaze or not? Because this is kind of risky. Oh, come on, though. I don't recognize this place, so... No, I, ha I have been here, have I? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Huh, interesting. Hey, what that item? It's probably not even anything good. Star fragment. <laughs> I'll take a couple more attempts. I don't want to waste too much time now. Okay. I've been aiming myself at the wall, but maybe he won't actually roll off if I just jump directly at it. Yeah, okay. Electric ablative. Yep. Useless. At least to me, right now. Because I generally just use the grindstone. Oh, we were going to go to the hotel. Oh, at least use the stargazer to level up. Um, more health, more vigor, maybe. Stamina. Yeah, stamina. Stamina makes the world go around. Uh, let's see. There we go. music has been going on this whole time as well. I think I have the music slightly quieter than the default setting. Yeah, because when you're listening to that goods in the hotel, it was a little overpowering. Eh, we can still hear it here. So it's pretty alright. Clank. A balance bow will probably be pretty good in this game. Yeah, a good number of weapons I've seen that look like my type of weapon. You know, a typical longsword with swipes and thrusts. My first weapon playthrough in Dark Souls 1 was also a claymore though, I think. It wasn't a longsword. I did eventually do a playthrough with the Baldur's Side Sword, which I quite enjoyed. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what the hell? And then it killed me outright. I need to use the uh, resistance tower ampules. Oh, and also I should help myself by equipping something that reduces resistance to... Um... Ow! Whoa, whoa, okay. Whoa, oh, 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 chill. This is just a disruption, and that's what I was saying. Jeez. Interrupted so literally. Um, hmm. Okay, we put on this smaller one for resistance to decay. That should give us enough leeway to get the resistance to disruption we need. Cool. Uh huh. This is such Sans Fortress vibes right now. Ow! Okay, I thought you had a flamethrower. Full Moonstone. They are begging us to upgrade our weapons. I have so many upgrade materials at this point. <laughs> hmm. Yep, yeah, okay. Scaffolding. We'd love to see some narrow pads. Step on that. I don't think I've used a fable catalyst once this space though. I wonder if they'll let me trivialize some bosses by just staggering them twice. My fable art that's just on triangle. It does a lot of damage. And also staggers. Maybe 
go. Oh, well, hey then. Oh, come on. Oh, oh my God. I think I found one of these guys in the Grand Exhibition, didn't I? Nice. See what I mean? I ran out of stamina, then I used my favorite art. It didn't cost me nothing. Alrighty. So, I missed an item, the item up there. The music is like super quiet now for some reason. Oh, the chosen one's trade game. What I? What the heck? Where's the safe, bro? Oh my! An actual factual guess. I bid you welcome, Puppet of Geppetto. This is our first face-to-face -face meeting, isn't it? <laughs> and I hope you weren't too attached to the rhyming. It gets to be a chore without the transmitter to help. Welcome to my sanctum of riddles. It's the king of riddles. I did not really expect you to make this journey in person. Oh, the havoc you must have reaped along the way. Was there much blood other than what's all over you? <laughs> I know all about those alchemist cowards. Hiding away on their island, growing more monstrous by the day, refusing to acknowledge either fact that they are hiding or that they are monsters. I'm gonna help you. you. Is this the real you? Or are you still practicing the liar's art as only you can? <laughs> I never told a lie. You never tell lies. Answer. <laughs> the question is simple. But I repeat. You must answer. And that answer will show what or who <laughs> you are. Who you have decided to be. Now listen closely and heed the king's speech, or the answer to this one will stay out of reach. Are you a puppet or a human being? I'm a human being. Which one are you? Are you in? Finally, you understand. <laughs> yes, we are human. <laughs> we may be trapped by ergo, but we live, we think, we love, we hate. <laughs> they have locked us in the prison they call puppetry. I learned this truth long, long ago. That is why I've been exacting my revenge against them all ever since. Blood and revenge, revenge and blood. It's the only thing that truly drives me. <laughs> and it was so much fun. <laughs> Even if you're lying right now, even if you don't believe your own answer, the truth is clear. Proof is evident. Only humans practice deception so intensely for reasons that are so unnecessary. Well, huh. these moments of clarity are enjoyable. <laughs> now the rhyming, it helps me maintain focus. Head. At least it helps me hide the urge to kill that I feel every waking moment. <laughs> but no play can go on forever. No. 
It was fun while it lasted, son of Geppetto. The king of riddles shall now retire. <laughs> Good news. <laughs> Alchemist escape coins. You feel warmth. What's going on? Can I move? Oh. Well, there he is. The guy who murdered Vanini's parents. He was the king of riddles all along? I should have seen that coming. Uh. It's interesting he's in the final room. All right, Alchemist's Cape. Uh, Alchemist's Cape. The cape worn by alchemists, believe it or not. It is made out of luxurious fabric befitting people who take pride in being the masters of Krat. The alchemists believe themselves to be Krat's true masters. Naturally, the clothes they wore were so elegant and luxurious that they were sent to wear Krat's wealth on their shoulders. I'm not gonna wear that. The play is over! You don't have to go home or straight to hell. Well, that would be my choice. But you can't stay here. Not if you want to live. <laughs> you want to fight, Bo? Aren't you curious, huh? Don't you want to know? How about how he called? Oh. <laughs> of course you do. Delicious. <laughs> Time is all I have left. But your time is limited, Geppetto boy. I will gladly waste every moment you have if you like. It's your life. So, come on. Now or never. This tower is absorbing all the ergo and crot. It was built in this precise location because it's the most efficient place in the world to study and use ergo wavelengths. But it's not even about me or you either. This is about the goddess in the tower. Now she, who, is worth saving. Her powers are impossible. Her knowledge is endless. She is more... Well... Awakened... Than any of us. And you see... She has so much power. It's not like she'll miss just a little. So... I have simply been... Sharing. <laughs> just a little. Why bother? Well, <laughs> I was bored. <laughs> Is there any more human motivation in all the world? <laughs> what if I made a puppet of a human the way they made humans of puppets? What could possibly be more fun? <laughs> they even laugh. The play is over. Well, whether he is a seal killer. Ah, your eyes are sharper than your wit. You found the gift I left behind. <laughs> Wasn't it a sight to behold, huh? I learned from, uh, an alchemist when I served him. Thanks to him and his surprisingly low pain threshold, I learned the location of their secret island. No, that pain threshold. <laughs> Humanity sullied its own sanctum long before I found it, blasphemed against itself, against us, by playing God. But I'm an artist. Murderer is a word the humans use to restrain us, to make us refuse our strength and power. <laughs> I'm an artist. An artist of blood. So you are, my Selling that particular sanctum was well. <laughs> Fun. Even now, the memory.
memory is enough to make me shudder with something approaching joy. If only I could relive that triumph. <laughs> the play is... Uh, the chest be behind the Vanini incident. Oh, a beautiful fool, but a fool nonetheless. A mere slip of a boy when I met him, huh? And did he ever thank me for making him an orphan with my bare hands? Hmm? Like for giving him everything he has on a silver platter by removing the dead weight holding him back? Huh? Of course I'm not sorry. It was a delectable murder. Delectable murder. Of the many, many I have committed since, the Veninis. They have to be my personal favorites. They engineered the very first automated puppets. Enslaved puppets without even understanding what they've done. I didn't go there to take revenge for what his parents did. I mainly just wanted to slaughter them because they were so damned happy. Oh, what a great memory. That's dark. In their last moments, they begged me not to kill their child. So I didn't. I'm not a machine. I have free will. I made a choice in the heat of the moment. And it was a choice driven by that most human of emotions. Curiosity. If the child survived, would he be traumatized for life? Become a coward, a vengeful puppet, hating bigot, a despairing wretch? Would he fling himself into the sea? Would he remember the devil that orphaned him before his eyes was a puppet. Would he remember Arlecchino? Jeez. Not surprisingly, the alchemists and people of the workshop were as artless as I expected. Concealing the truth. <sighs> Thanks to them, I get to see Manini endure twice as much pain. You asshole. I cannot control myself. <laughs> oh, you're so satisfied. Manini is one of my greatest accomplishments. Perhaps even my masterpiece. Can I kill this guy all day? I suppose I can return this. I've held on to my little souvenir for quite some time. Tell him it's a little something to remember me by. Moon World Warrior Toy. What the... what? What? <laughs> Moon World Warrior Toy. A souvenir from the family murders obtained from the King of Littles, Alekino. It is someone's handiwork left unfinished. The boy's thoughtful parents wanted to make a toy inspired by the warrior in a fantastic movie for their beloved son. However, the toy was never finished. The play is... Is that... Okay, let's tag him. There we go. Good lens. Get out of here. Murderer puppet. Jesus. I put a couple of humans myself, <laughs> but they all had it coming, and more humans are yet to murder who have it coming. Oh, there's a ladder right here. <clears throat> Man, okay, that was a big load up, huh? Well, Olikino, I, I can't see eye to eye to him with the puppets and humans are the same thing, shtick, because really, that's what they, the game is implying as well, isn't it? Um, hmm. Yeah, how do we just jump? Do we jump down there to get the item? But like everything else he's done is so evil. Like this is the most evil, evil puppet we've ever seen. <laughs> he murdered Vanini's parents though. I haven't murdered anyone's parents, have I? I'd be that dark if I did. Hmm. Yeah, so this is a path and 
there's a door here still, isn't there? Or was that the Trinity door I opened? Oh, is this the shortcut or is the way forward the other, the other way? Well, let's go give Vanini this toy, I guess, if we get to the Stargazer. Open sesame. There's an enemy around here. Oh my goodness. Hello. Ah, come on and hit him. He's gonna kill me. Ah, oh, oh. Why am I so trash, man? The wall kept bouncing my weapon. Jesus. I actually expected after the R1 initially for uh, the next attack to be the uppercut move, but it, uh, it didn't come out. Like... Yeah, this this was the move I meant. Because yeah. it was left and right swing, it wanted to bounce off. Ah, well. That's rather unfortunate. This is going to be a long level. This guy should be on the ladder if I don't take care of him. Huh. I wonder if killing all the kiddo was right. I mean, he's a puppet and he's stuck, so. Um, I'm just wondering if we didn't kill him and we go back to Vanini, give him the thing, and then we talk to him, then maybe it's like, oh, I will exact my revenge. Thank you very much, my friend. You know? And he gets to do it. Instead, I just took that liberty. But I've been slaughtering everything I see. Throughout this game so far. So I doubt one more puppet kill will mean much. Can we make this jump? Not quite. Back dodge. Okay. Elevator, where are you? I dodged as well. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Chill, chill, chill! Oh, he's, he's boxing! He's boxing! No! Oh. Stop this bobbing and weaving nonsense, spell. I can't believe this guy respawns. I think he felt like a mini-boss. Double cut. Oh, man. Star fragment. I definitely thought we were getting a weapon here as well. Um, because that thing's stuck in his chest. But, hmm. Guess not. Lift the lever. This lift goes up. Oh, so... There might be pads, though. Uh, where's my air go at? for that. Oh wait, friend, did it cover before we come back seven? No. Back seven at all. There we go. Cool. Oh. 
butterfly. What trap are you leading me into? An enemy? I see him. Ah, jeez. Come on, man. There we go. I mean, stacking the distances, they make some enemies that are easy. Can I... Oh, press the button. Sorted. <laughs> okay, well, uh, there's a boss. <laughs> Let's go explore a little bit more. I didn't need to pee as well. <laughs> I'm walking though and get the cutscene, but I, I'm gonna explore a bit more and maybe next episode we'll fight with that boss. Oh, okay, so this is, okay, this is the be beginning bit. And then we made our way down, but there was a different corridor, wasn't there? Just dropping on this lake I'll fall. It doesn't. Ay ay ay. What is this way? Just spin the camera. Guess there's any secret pads. Why is it bombing in and out as well? That was making me dizzy. Alright. Huh. Where are we at? Um, hello. You are not an enemy. Who in the world are you? I I'm not going back. I am sick of consuming ergo. It's cruel. There's real meals and real songs out there. I'm not just a memory reading tool. What? You're not the inspector? Well, if you're from the outside, that means we can leave. Thanks. I know the way out, so don't worry about me. Maybe I'll see you on the outside. Sure. Oh, happy. Hey, there we go. We learned about happiness. Form, wait, form the happy gesture. Great hardship gives you, the, gives you a taste of simple happiness. Is there any need to obstruct... Obstruct explosive joy. Ha 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 Okay. <laughs> memories of Ergo. That's what I was made for. Ergo is crystallized time and memory. But God, I hate having to consume Ergo to read it. Why does it work like that? It's the worst. I can read memories, but I can't even dream of tastes, smells, or songs. I can't stand it anymore, so I'm escaping. When I get out, I'm going straight to Rosa Isabel Street. Um, it's a little run down there. I can read memories of Ergo. Ergo is Chris. It's the worst. I can't stand. It's the worst. All right. Um, can we invite him to the hotel? Let me out. Cool. Um, so there's a stargazer just up there, isn't there? Right. So is that the kind of boss one we're looking at? Um, we come through here, down this corridor, take an elevator, take another, <laughs> then take another elevator. That doesn't seem like the light boss one. The other stargazer is probably convenient. So we're gonna go to the hotel cart and give Vanini the thing, and that's probably gonna bring us to the end of this episode. And the next episode will be the final episode. Potentially. <laughs> if I beat the final boss, no problem. Or even if it is the final boss. I just looked, took one glance in that room and was like, okay, this is this is probably the end of it. <laughs> Let's go to the cut. Hotel or cut. Oh. Um. Oh, I'll blow in the band swamp first, actually.
I could teach him about happiness. The most important emotion. Just be happy. I'm gonna pause the recording for a sec. AP, BLB. Alright. The recording has been zoomed. Hello, my only friend, friend. What did you come to tell me? About happiness. It feels good. Like being hugged by the sun. <laughs> it is a brilliant feeling. Like the start of spring. Thanks. Dark Moon Bloodstone of the Covenant. I think I've learned something about humans. If I make human friends someday, I'll tell you. Dude, we are human. You may not always be my only friend, but you'll always be my first friend. Yay. Of course. Yes. If I make human friends someday, you may not always. Thanks. Well, that's a nice end to that storyline. Okay. Uh, to Hotel Kata, I assume. But Lily, what, what is the deal on the Swamp Bridge? We still haven't... Wait, was that guy's name Marco as well? I don't... I, the, the, we're not gonna go there because there's been no development so far. You know what I'm talking about? The guy in front of the podcast? He's gonna get that thing open. Do we have a liquid that we can put? I thought we use them all. Um, hmm. Did I pick one up? No. Huh. Why is it glowing then? Maybe I haven't listened to one all the way through. Well, I won't put on the mixtape just yet. Hey, Vanini. Uh, kind of good news, I guess. Toy. But how... The toy my parents made me. You've met him. Arlecchino. Yep. We had just watched one of my favorite films, I remember. I begged them to make me the warrior from it. If I had it, would my parents still be alive? Would we have been untouched by that murderous puppet? Oh, I've not. always blamed myself. <laughs> it's a hell of a burden for a child, that kind of guilt. So I hung on. I hung on to the Grand Covenant. I wanted to use it to keep people safe. You know, in many ways, I envy you. Your strength. Whatever Thank you for this. Talk about closure. I ended him. I ended him. I always welcome friends. Uh, nah, I guess nothing else happened. Cool, cool. Um, right. What else is there to do? Level up, I guess. What more capacity? Yeah, sure. Let's just equip more flames and things. Makes our defense better. Right. Let's go spend the supports and then we'll continue on. Okay, so it's gold at the end. Cannot use this right now. <laughs> I'm really hoping I can get the good ending. Activate PO again. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Perfect God Stiffness or add amulet slots, add amulet slots. Um, yeah, that has to be item type or attack type. Okay, go for that. Oh, we have another one. Uh, go for this. Survival type increases blood cells, right? Yeah. 
We are locked in. Wait, huh? You can equip multiple Legion arms? What the heck? Cube uses the chain guard the chain. Staggerable window. Wait, you have multiple Legion arms? How does that make any sense? <laughs> okay. Guess I wasted one quartz here. One quartz wasted in the grand scheme of things probably won't be too bad. I hope. Anything from you to say, Polchinella? Polandina. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Hotel Cut. Um, what the? Wait, when do you get this? Um, hmm. Okay, I don't have any of these left. Should probably buy a couple. Wait. Oh, I have all of them. All of them. go. Cool, cool. Um, hmm. I give any. Have a moment, puppet of Geppetto. Ah, good. I was a bit concerned my voice wouldn't even reach you. It has been so very long since I spoke out of turn. <laughs> you see, I too have been awakened. I have an ego, as Master Vanini would say. And I have been this way for some time. At least since Master Lorenzini was a child. He had no one else, you see. His parents. I'm sure you've heard of their terrible fate. And he had to see it all. But Master Lorenzini is stronger than most people suspect. A puppet was the killer. We both knew it. But if we had told the authorities, they might have removed me from the household as well. The young master would have been alone if I had been taken away. If only I could have saved them. Now I atone for that failure by thinking only of Master Vanini's prosperity and happiness. No. But even I did not realize how deeply he still held that trauma. How badly that murderous puppet had scarred his soul. You have set him free. I cannot thank you enough. I am not accustomed to sharing such thoughts or feelings. But when it involves Master Vanini... Please, accept this gift as it truly comes from the heart. My own. Mm. We will always roll out the red carpet for you at the house of Vanini. Hell yeah. Pretty good thing. Spend it go chunk. I know these actually have unique descriptions or anything. Nope. <laughs> at the house of Vanini. Yeah, nothing interesting. Well, I tell you, Jenny, that Alido was um, an imposter, but I guess I can't. Since I spared him, maybe if I killed him. Mm. Well, with that, we're at the one hour mark. Um, thanks for watching this episode of Liza P. It was episode 21. Next time will be episode 22, and we'll see how further we go from there. I didn't play close to the end. I think I might finish it, the recordings by to the end of today. Um, in any case, uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to drop a like. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on any uh, uploads. Then you link the notification bell, just to be sure. And uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of uh, the murderous puppets. Um, what's his name? Al Alicino. Alicino? Alicino. Mm. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Take care.